Hi everyone, my name is Tim and today we're going to install VNC over SSH on Red Hat Enterprise Linux 6. For today's demonstration, I've created a simple diagram to better explain the exercise. As you can see, we have two systems here, the client and the server. We're going to set up VNC so that no TCP connections can be made to the VNC service. Please note that I mentioned service and not server. From the client, we're going to SSH into the server, and from there, I'll and from there forward our VNC request onto the VNC service. So this stands for the forwarding. This little loop here. The VNC server will then start, but the display will be redirected back to our client system via the SSH port redirection. Please note that when I first heard about this, I was scratching my head for a very long time. But I assure you, things will get easier as we go along. So let's begin. I have uh, typed out my instructions here, all my steps. We're going to first install the Tiger VNC server, edit the configuration file, set the VNC password, start the VNC server, enable the VNC server to start a boot up, install the Tiger client, uh, Tiger VNC client on the client itself, and test the configuration. Okay, so let's begin. First thing is to install the Tiger VNC server. So it's yum install tiger vnc dash server. And it's only about meg size and size, so it doesn't take that long to download and install. Okay, we're done. And the next thing to do is edit the configuration file, which is which is in Etsy sysconfig and it's VNC servers. Okay. So what we want to do is uncomment out the last two lines. Where it says my username, take that out and put in root. Okay. Please note that this number two here represents display number two. So this number two here in the brackets represents all the options which are going to be placed on display number two. Okay. So for geometry, we're going to make the window a little bigger. Let's put 1024 by 768. Okay. Now this option, which states no TC or no list of TCP, well, it does exactly that. It does not allow any X connections to the VNC service via TCP. And the next option, which says dash local host, this sets up the service so that VNC can only be accessed remote, uh, locally, and not remotely. So the only way for this to work is for us to create a secure tunnel to the server and have the VNC display redirected back to the client over the same SSH tunnel. It will, this will make more sense as we go along. Okay. So now, let's set the VNC password. Let me clean this up first. Now please note that I am logged on locally as a root and the VNC password which I'm setting for is for the root user and this VNC password is different from the local uh, root uh, roots password so I put in a different password there alright so now let's start the VNC service VNC server start okay and it's successful now let's enable v the VNC server to start during boot up. Okay, and we're good. So now this concludes the the server portion. Now let's move over onto our client. This is our client. And we need to install the Tiger VNC client. So it's yum install Tiger VNC. Please note that I placed place down Tiger VNC and not Tiger VNC dash server like I did on the other system. Okay. Now, we're good. Now comes the trickiest part of the whole exercise. We're going to use the VNC viewer command with the via option. So let me type in the command first so I can better explain it. It's VNC viewer dash via. I'm going to put down root at server.example.com you can put down the IP address if you don't have DNS or, uh, installed or set up 
and then we're going to put down local post display number two okay very good so the via option allows us to use a specific SSH gateway to connect to our VNC server in this example the SSH gateway is also the VNC server itself so the next argument represents the VNC server and the display number our gateway looks into its own DNS cache this is the gateway to resolve the VNC server's hostname this is the VNC server so our, ho our VNC server's hostname here is localhost so when our gateway sees localhost it says I am the local host after resolving it and it redirects the VNC request to itself so let's look back at the diagram um, one more time hopefully it'll make more sense alright we see that we've made an SSH connection and that the gateway gateway resolves this is the gateway it's also um, server.example.com it's also the VNC server right so we made an SSH connection to the gateway and the gateway then resolves the host name localhost localhost to itself it says I am the local host then it forwards the VNC request to itself okay and let's go back so let's press enter to see what will happen it's asking for my password well this is for SSH so this is basically my local root uh, password alright okay so that authenticated okay and now we're prompted to uh, add in the VNC password okay please remember that our VNC password is different from the the regular password the logon password so we're going to use the password which we just set up not too long ago which was this okay okay very good so we have successfully created a VNC session over SSH now to be sure that this is the right system let me open up the terminal let me enlarge it okay let me enlarge this guy I'll do host name and here we go we are, we are connected to server.example.com okay excellent very good let me close this let me close this let me go back to our server so this concludes our exercise uh, thank you everyone for watching the video if you have any questions please feel free to leave a comment I'll be more than happy to help and have a very blessed day take care